According to the Horevka Telegram account, the Ukrainian army received an FV-103 Spartan tracked armored personnel carrier donated by the United Kingdom. Following a meeting in Kyiv between Boris Johnson and Vladimir Zelensky, the UK has approved the delivery of 120 armored vehicles to Ukraine. Ukraine is expected to receive Mastiff, Wolfhound, Husky and Spartan breeds from the UK. The FV-103 Spartan was designed by Alvis PLC in the 1970s as the armored personnel carrier variant of the British Army's combat vehicle reconnaissance family of armored fighting vehicles. Hey guys, welcome to our channel Alpha Tanks, where we tell you about military tanks from the most famous World War II battle tanks to the most advanced MBTs at present. So stay with us till the end of this video so you don't miss out on any of this information. But before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our amazing videos in the future. And let's dig in. The FV-103 Spartan Tracked APC was created as part of an armored combat vehicle family led by the Scorpion Light Tank armed with a 76mm gun. The Spartan is one of seven main members of the family, all of which were produced by Alvis vehicles with the Spartan intended to be a specialist combat team carrier. This means that the Spartan is typically used as a combat engineer, battlefield reconnaissance, or air defense missile team carrier rather than an infantry combat section vehicle. There were 967 FV-103 Spartans built in total. Since the British Army reorganized, many Spartans have become available from their previous employment and are now widely issued as general-purpose liaison and patrol vehicles. The Spartans' chassis and suspension are shared with all other Scorpion family members, as is the Jaguar petrol engine, later replaced by Cummins diesel, but the aluminum hull is enlarged to a box configuration to accommodate the driver, team commander, radio operator, and vehicle commander, who also operates the 7.62mm machine gun mounted over his cupola. The machine gun can be aimed and fired from within the vehicle. The troop compartment in the back seats for personnel and has space for their specialized and personal equipment. Additional equipment can be stowed externally in racks or boxes. Some Spartans have provision for mounting a battlefield surveillance radar on the hull roof, while others have internal racking for air defense missiles. British infantry used to have tank destroyer Spartans with Milan ATGW launcher turrets on their roof, but these have since been retired. Another variant was known as the Streaker, owing to its high speed potential, despite the fact that all members of the Scorpion family are agile and fast. The Streaker was a Spartan chassis with an open flat bead rear intended to be used as a front lines stores transporter or mine dispensing equipment carrier. It never made it past the prototype stage. The British Ministry of Defense ordered 59 PMRS armored personal carriers in 2014 to replace the aging Spartans. The British Army intends to deploy these specialized combat team carriers in 2017. A 4.2 XK Jaguar petrol engine powered the Spartan. The vehicle is 5.16 meters long and 2.48 meters wide. It stands 2.63 meters tall and has a ground clearance of 0.33 meters. The FV-103 has been used by small specialized groups such as mortar fire controller teams, anti-aircraft teams and reconnaissance teams as the APC variant of the CVRT family. The combat weight of the FV-103 is 10,670 kilograms. It has a range of 510 kilometers and a top speed of 96 kilometers per hour. It can negotiate gradients of up to 60 percent. The Spartan can carry seven passengers or three crew members and four passengers. It has a 7.62mm L37A1 machine gun and four smoke dischargers on each side. It has also been used as a resupply vehicle for the FV-102 Striker, carrying extra swing-fire missiles in addition to its role as an armored personnel carrier. When tests confirmed that the stretched version retained the mobility of the basic CVRT MV, the FV-4333, later renamed Alvis Stormer, was built from scratch, Alvis having purchased the design rights. Photos have emerged in the public domain, indicating that Ukraine's armed forces have already begun receiving British-made FV-103 Spartan tracked armored personnel carriers. Some of these vehicles have already arrived at the front, but crew training for the Spartans is still ongoing on British training grounds. Ukraine will receive 35 FV-103 Spartan machines from the UK. The FV-103 Spartan has a combat weight of only 10.6 tons and can carry a landing force of only four, including three crew members. This armored vehicle can travel at a top speed of 90 km per hour on the highway. And for such a small armored personnel carrier with a body length of 5.16 meters, it has a decent level of protection. The aluminum body is 60 millimeters thick 
and the frontal parts can withstand the impact of 14.5 mm bullets from a distance of 200 meters, as well as shrapnel from shells, mines, and enemy firearms. In reality, the British FV-103 Spartan is a compact tank designed to serve as an armored taxi for delivery to the front lines. However, the low number of landing forces is offset by the speed of movement and level of protection. There is no machine gun, but there are sidebars. Two things stand out from the photos provided and shared on social media. First, the FV-103 Spartans delivered to Ukraine do not have integrated machine guns. The British FV-103 Spartans in service, no longer are, had one 7.62mm general-purpose machine gun, but those supplied to Ukraine were most likely removed a long time ago. Hand-welded bars were also added to both sides of the tracked armor personnel carrier, most likely before delivery to Ukraine. It is unclear what function these bars will serve, whether they will be used to attach a weapon system or as improvised armor to steal the energy of an anti-tank missile or drone blast. The latter is unlikely, but similar hand armor has been seen on the turrets of Russian tanks. There are also British Husky TSVs in Ukraine. The British Husky tactical support vehicles, promised by Britain to assist Ukraine's armed forces, have begun to arrive on Ukrainian soil. Several field sources, as well as videos shared on social media, corroborate the information. Most likely, trained Ukrainian soldiers from British military instructors arrived with the vehicles. The Husky TSV is an all-terrain armored vehicle, capable of assisting infantry, marines, and special forces. It can transport four to eight people depending on its configuration. The Husky TSV is equipped with a 12.7mm machine gun and a remote-controlled weapon system. The exact engine of the British TSVs donated to Ukraine is unknown. It is assumed that this is the standard version, which employs the Navistar VT365 V8 diesel engine with an integrated torque shift 5-speed automatic transmission and produces 325 horsepower at 3300 RPM. However, some British Husky TSVs are equipped with a Navistar VT Max Force D6 liter V8 engine that produces slightly more horsepower. 340 horsepower and can be driven at a top speed of 70 km per hour. The Husky HSV is a 4x4 armored truck MRAP manufactured in the US. They were created specifically for the British Army and were first shown to the public in 2006 when production began. The vehicle's main technical specification are length 230 to 270, width 96 inches, height 93 inches for operational use or 91 inches for transport. Husky has armor kits with varying levels of protection. It has a ground clearance of 12 inches and an operational range of approximately 400 miles. So why did UK send this armored vehicle? First, the UK government sent armored vehicles to Ukraine to safely evacuate people from the country's shelled east. Vehicles will also transport critical infrastructure workers. The highly specialized fleet was delivered in direct response to a request from the Ukrainian government. This package includes 220 million pounds for on-the-ground medical supplies and basic necessities, with the goal of saving lives and protecting vulnerable people. This includes assistance from the UN, the Red Cross, and non-governmental organizations such as the DEC and UK Med. Following a government request, the UK also sent a rapid donation of food supplies, committed to donating up to 42 ambulances and help bring vital life-saving care and sent over 5 million medical items to support life-saving work in Ukraine. In addition to the Challenger 2 tanks provided to Poland to backfill those donated to Ukraine, the UK has committed to providing Stormer armored vehicles, air defense systems, 120 armored vehicles, new anti-ship missiles, and over 5,000 anti-tank missiles. And that's it for today, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and family. If you have any questions or comments, please share them with us in the comments space below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see even more of our incredible videos. You can also check out our other videos that have been specially selected for you. We'll catch up in the next video.